it's very often in it's very often in development that you'll need to create a copy of some data so perhaps you need to create a copy of this person and you'll want to create a sibling and the sibling will then you can easily do that with the data class with the built-in copy method and the copy method will automatically create a copy of everything inside of the class and give you a new instance. So if we were to create, to print this to the screen here, we would see person. And then if we were to come down here, we could see sibling and we would run it. We would see that the two classes had the exact same data. Now it's very often you may only want to change a couple of the attributes and you can do that with the named parameters. And so I could say something like Sam change the first name to Sam. And if I were to run that here, we'd see the rest of the data stays the same, except for the first name changes to Sam. And maybe Sam is perhaps an older sibling and Sam's age is 44. And we were to run that, and now we would see Sam Felker age 44. Now, this is an easy way to do this. This is very useful if you have a very large object graph. So perhaps you have a, a person, or maybe you have a perhaps a data class with a order and that order has a an amount, which is an int, and then that order belongs to, and actually needs to be, have a val or a var amount, and then it actually belongs to a person, which could be the customer, and that will be a person instance. So if you were to do this, you could actually come up here, let's go ahead and create this order. So we say val order, and this order would be, and we say the amount is equal to 100, and the person, equals, uh, say it equals the sibling, excuse me, the customer is the sibling. And of course, if we print line this, we're going to see that the order has the amount of 100. And then inside of there, the customer is that person instance with the age of 44. So let's say I wanted to copy that order. And so I say new order. And I know, let's say the customer is the same, but I just want to change the amount. I could say order, and I'd say the amount is 200 this time. Perhaps they, they purchased a different product, but it's gonna be the same customer. I could very easily do that. Oops, excuse me, we'll say order.copy, and the amount will be 200. And once we get to 200 here, we can print line that for the new order. And then once this runs, we'll see that we have another order here for the amount of 200 with the same exact customer. Now, this could also be, you know, let's take this something, uh, a new route here. So let's say val new order two, uh, I could say order.copy, and perhaps I wanted to create another order of the same exact thing, but this time I have a different customer. And this time would be, the customer would be the person. Now I could say print line, and we could see what this would look like. And we'd say new order two, and we'd run it here, we could actually see that the order amount is still 100, but this time the person has actually changed. And that's how you copy a data class in Kotlin, period. It's important to note that this is not a full deep copy. If you're using lists and so forth, a lot of these items will be shallow copies, so be careful copying lists this way.